Hey everyone, it's been a while since I've played any RimWorld, and I have a couple friends that keep telling me they don't really know how to start or what's going on, and now that they're on uh, the 10th alpha build, um, there's a lot of shit in RimWorld, so I thought I would do a quick possibly one-off video just showing what I do sometimes, maybe? I don't know. Um, taking into account that regardless of the fact that I play a lot, I'm not actually the very good. So I'm just going to generate a random world here. Looks great. And we're going to make a new colony. And I'm going to make it on base builder, which is kind of the best thing to start with because it makes it have less attacks less often. And then you can do free play, which will basically be kind of a sandbox, like it says right here, but threats will appear, but they're pretty weak. I'm gonna go ahead and do base builder, because I'm not good at dealing with threats, and yeah, and I keep doing stuff. So anyway, I'm gonna do base builder. It's obviously, there's a lot of challenge to be had. I see a lot of people playing on like rough or challenging, extreme, great to watch. I'm not very good at it. Okay, so then the next thing I'm gonna do is use the arrow keys to find myself somewhere that grows year round. Uh, I like doing mountains, but I think this time maybe I won't do mountains. Let's see. What have we got? Okay, so here's some year round in here. So I can actually like zoom in and see the little map. Um, apparently I have a base on this world already? What? Even though I just generated it? I guess because there's factions already on here. Okay. So apparently someone lives here, so you can't pick it. But if I go up here, it's got slate and limestone, and it builds all year. There you go, slate, sandstone, and limestone. Marble and granite. Uh, and those are just like the materials that you can mine. I don't think it really matters. Um, the different bricks have different uh, durability is when you make walls out of them, but there's not a huge difference between them, and I don't remember which one's the highest. I know limestone was pretty high, and I feel like slate would be pretty high, but I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, we're gonna do this. So this is what I usually do. I pick a mountain that builds all year round, and then the most important thing when you're starting is to get a really solid starting trio, because you're not gonna have a lot of people right away. So having people incapable of shit, not really very good, and also you kind of have to look at their traits, because some of them, like, psychically sensitive, they could go crazy really easily, because the drones happen a lot. So I'm going to click this until I get a nun. Cold tolerant is fine, and psychopath is actually fine. Just means they don't really care if I sell people, if someone gets killed, they're not, as long as it doesn't really affect them, like, they get hurt, they don't really care. Um, pretty okay at research. Uh, looks like they're melee, they have a bit of shooting, they're pretty good crafter too. Okay, so this is a pretty solid, sturdy person, they can do all the things. Um, so this is another example of really shitty person, they're slow poke, which means they're really slow walking. Psychically dull is actually good. Um, means they take less, um, they get less upset when the psychic drones are happening, because they don't hear it as much. They're like, what are you talking about? And they're lazy, so they don't really do good. Lazy. Oops, I just clicked without looking at that one. Psychopath cannibal. <laughs> Let's have a bunch of psychopaths! What could possibly go wrong? Okay, they don't, they've got pretty shitty skills though. What is this person? Yeah. Let's not have a cannibal. <laughs> Cause it creeps me out. Okay, how about this? Uh, steadfast means that they are harder to break down. They're a hard worker, so they work faster. And brawler, whatever. So this is a melee. Very artistic, that's gonna be good for making money. Social's pretty good. Construction's very good. Okay, so this person's pretty good. Um, Slowpoke, but green thumb and misogynist. No, that's not what that says. Masochist. I can read so good, guys. 
<clears throat> Chemical interest and heat tolerant and capable of like everything. Abrasive. Nervous and a pessimist, not so good. Optimist, careful shooter. Uh, it doesn't really matter that they can't do intellectual because these people have that kind of covered research. Yeah, they've got research, so that's fine. Uh, and scary means they can't fight, which means this person is probably going to be my hunter, but that's also not really a big deal. And this person's a brawler, so they're going to stab things. Solid cooker. Eh. No. Hard worker, green thumb, and chemical fascination. That's fine, except you have no skills. You have, like, social. <sighs> Psychically dull and brawler. Ooh, super grower. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, that's a crazy amount of melee. Like, insane. All right, whatever, that's fine. Okay, so these people will do fairly good at, you know, construction, which is important. Mining is also important. In fact, these one of these guys, the settler, has a passion for mining. And this it's super passionate about growing, which is awesome, because we're going to live off greens for a while. Um, all right, cool. So let's do that. So those are my people. They might be shitty. Meh. Okay, okay. So this is just telling us that we've been sleeping in cryosleep because our thing exploded. And I'm going to just quickly turn off the tutorial because I don't care. Okay. So this is where we've landed. I'm going to pause it for a second. There's this big mountain in here. There's a building right there. I might actually move in there. There's a couple more smaller buildings. Yeah. Geothermal. Yeah, okay. So we're going to go over here. Uh, I'm going to get... Actually, I'm going to set up my people. Whoa. Oh, because the other guy hasn't landed yet. There we go. <laughs> I'm like, where's the other guy? Okay. Warden. Cook. Um, hunter. Pretty sure you won't hunt. Well, you will hunt, but you won't melee. Oh, no, you will. Oh, no, I don't have my mod. Oh, well. I'm whining about a mod I have that puts the thing at the top. That's not needed. It's just fun. Uh, okay, so that's the brawler. You can have this knife. And you are also a brawler, but you're not as good, I don't think. 14. Oh, you are... Well then, can you steal it from him? No. Drop it. Just kidding. You're not quite as good. You're pretty good, but you're not quite as good. And then this person will be our survival hunter. Um, can you go here? Can I make you go here? Deconstruct this. Hopefully you don't go crazy. Meanwhile, I'm going to set up trading zone and some growing and like that we've got ourselves somewhere to live sort of kind of so it's always good to have somewhere for them to sleep starting out because they really hate sleeping on the ground so I shoved some sleeping spots in here for now oops and try to get them to do some stuff. Oh, and now, so these are a couple fun things that they have added. So in Alpha 10, they added joy and this lovely timetable, which tells them when they can have joy. It starts base as anything, which means they will work or have joy. They'll do whatever they want. I don't want that. So I'm going to tell them I want them to work during the day and they can have fun before they go to bed and when they wake up. Uh, the other thing is the uh, clothing management. They have little outfits now, so they can manage their own. So they added clothes, and the clothes have these hit points, and if it's below 50 hit points, they complain about how their clothes are, like, 
tattered rags and how they want new ones. So this just adds in a system so that they're smart enough that they're if they're wearing rags, they should go change them. They should do something about that. And I think that's great because it was really annoying having to just randomly cycle through your people to make sure they were still okay. Are your clothes okay? Are you okay? Are, you, are your clothes good? Um, I'm going to grow a couple things here. I'm just setting up some... Whoops. Oh, are these not growing zones? These aren't growing zones. These are regular zones. Whoops. Hey, you. Build this. Oh, you can't build it because I didn't let you pick any of this up. There you go. Now build that. Hey, you. Oh, what? Oh, right. I didn't do this. Okay, so you have to make sure that they can construct and grow and mine. Basically do anything you actually want them to do. So now he can go here and actually do stuff. Okay, so I've got probably potatoes there. Over here and over here. I want you to grow corn and strawberries and here I want you to grow mm, rice. And the only real reason I'm doing this is because I like giving them a bunch of stuff, a bunch of stuff to grow instead of one giant, like I could have made just a giant box, but I like giving them a little more option for their diet. And then this little strip is actually going to be, actually, changed my mind already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little strip here, and this is going to be cotton so they can make clothes because they're going to need clothes soon. Well, not soon, but... They'll need them, and then they'll complain at me. And this one is going to be Zerigium, which is basically medicine. It's kind of like a base herbal medicine. So, like, they, they'll they use it, but medicine is better, and the best medicine is the Glitter World medicine. I'm not really sure exactly how the stats work, but I do know that that's how it works. So... Do we have someone actually working on this? Yeah. Okay, they're bringing it over. Okay, while they're doing that, I'm going to start planning my base. So this is kind of their beginner zone. Uh, they're going to need power. So already we're starting to take care of their base needs. So they're going to need power, food, somewhere to sleep, and this is where they store their shit so that I can actually like deal with it. Um, I'm gonna give them, hmm, yeah. So I'm gonna give them the ability to, if I can actually click on stuff, cook stuff. Now that this beacon's here, it's gonna make a stockpile. We're gonna look at it and we're gonna say, yeah, I don't really care. You can just move everything there. So if they don't have anything to do, they'll move all this stuff into my stockpile so we can actually see it. Until they do it, it doesn't show up in this list. See, he just put some wood down. Now we have it in our list. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, let's see. So the main part of starting, obviously, is uh, getting power and getting food. So we've kind of set up some sort of growing. Uh, I have a designated hunter, so I can actually set them to hunt these guys and depending on the area that you're in you could actually get some different animals like uh, there's kind of a more foresty zone that has monkeys and uh, cobras problem with cobras is they fight back not so good I think there's actually something in this map too that fights back I think it's the buffaloes will sometimes or I guess they're muffaloes here but yeah anyway so we'll put some power into my room and I hope to God he doesn't shoot anyone. Can you, like, go over here? <laughs> no? You're just gonna bag a deer while shooting at your friends? And we'll just give him a dumping stockpile to put bodies in. And then the other thing you'll need is a butcher table so that we can cut up whatever he built. Or whatever he actually bags the deer. Alright. Need batteries. Yes, we do. Okay, so power. Um, can't really put one there. 
can put one here though. And then the battery actually needs direct power, so go like this. And actually I can cancel that one, so I will. One of the things they added is once the deer is like down but not dead, they'll come and shoot it at point blank. I think it's really funny. I don't know why I find it really funny that they just come up and shoot it in the face. Like, it's terrible and I don't really like hunting in real life, but somehow in the game it's kind of funny. So I'm going to set up, oops, I'm going to set up their meals for them. So that's, if once they get power they can do that. And the other thing is you have to set up the bill for, oops, for the butcher so it actually does it. And I usually just sell them, if there's something here, do it forever. Just, just go ahead. Okay, so that's kind of my, you know, beginner thing. And then the main thing kind of goal after that is you have to build your base and I'm gonna build my base in this here so I'm just gonna go back here and I like having a big room right at the entrance for their food two three four seven, five and then here and I kind of give them big rooms as colonists and I like to be able to run it pretty far back. I don't actually want them to dig all of this out but I like to plan some of it ahead so here you go. Uh, na -na 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 -na. So the next kind of part is we want them to dig out rooms so that they have somewhere for them to sleep and the other thing that we need is somewhere for a prisoner because soon, don't know when, but eventually we're gonna get attacked. And we're going to be able to have to defend ourselves. So we'll put, I'm just going to put it here, even though it's not really the best, because until I can wall off to make them kind of funnel out one side, I need to defend. I mean, I could put one here and one over here, but I don't really have a lot of stuff. So basically what we want to do is be able to have our own rooms and then also accommodate having a prisoner and then also a room for them so I'm gonna actually do six I don't know why I keep doing it there I'm gonna do six rooms and I'm making them fairly big not every like they don't have to be that big but if we look at one of our people so they've got kind of a mood meter and if they go behind this threshold they go crazy and it's different on each person. Like this guy only has one break. He doesn't have a hard break, he just has a soft break. Wait, does that mean that he doesn't hard break? Oh, that's crazy. Oh, okay, I see. So these guys are, they have to be really depressed before they'll break, which is awesome. Um, and then so their mood is built up of all these other things. So they have to be well fed, they need to sleep, they need to have joy, which is kind of the biggest thing. And then there's kind of minier ones. So there's beauty, comfort, and space. So if it goes behind this line, this little toggle thing, they actually feel cramped instead of like open. Uh, it looks like his bar is full of space because he's been working outside all day. So it kind of slowly um, degrades. I'm gonna speed this up a bit. Um, but, but the space that he's currently in, or she I guess, is small ish so yeah so see it moves around while they're awake and asleep so it, it wasn't moving while they were asleep because they don't know I guess I don't know maybe she was dreaming about a big room even though she was in a small room but so all of these things go together to build their mood and then there's also stuff like sharing a bedroom gives them bad mood and sleeping on the ground so all these things kind of contribute to them going crazy and uh, not wanting to do anything and then wandering off. <laughs>